Hey, what's up ladies and gents, Spoony Pizzas here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the best mods, giving you the most ultra realistic version of eFootball 2024. And this works online as well as offline. So you can go from looking something like this on the PlayStation 5, to something like this, which features ultra graphics, all the teams with the kits and badges, all the league logos, improved turfs, brand new scoreboards, official replay wipes from the biggest leagues in the world, and an unlimited frame rate. Honestly, after playing on the PlayStation 5 with the blurry graphics, the frame rate drops less than 25 for replays, severe lack of licenses, I was simply fed up with the lack of realism. The improvements make such a big difference. It was impossible to go back. So let me just show you some of the comparisons. So here is a goal scored on the PlayStation 5. It's probably going to be hard to tell that there's a drop in frame rate here with this replay as my rendering and YouTube has certainly helped smooth it out. But during the actual gameplay when I was playing, the frame rate per second dips are ridiculous and so jarring and really take away from actually scoring a goal. And now here is a goal scored on PC with ultra graphics. And also notice the Premier League replay wipe. Now also let's take a look at the team select menu and you're going to see the official logos on the PC in comparison to the PlayStation 5 version. So you've just seen a handful of differences there. Obviously there's all the team logos, kits and badges. Now I'm going to show you how to install these mods. Okay, so to install the mods that you need to make your game look the best it can right now and the most realistic, you need to head over to Evo Web. You may need to, well, you will have to sign up with an account if you don't have one already. And you just have to wait for the approval process to go through. Once you're there, you want to head to the editing forum in the forum section. And then you want to obviously head to eFootball 2024. Now there's three places you're going to want to go. There's eFootball or eBoard 2024. There is this one here, High Graphics Unlocked for eFootball 3.2. And then the EVO Mod 2024 Update 4 from Endo. So we've got Endo, Bogo36, and then Manbane just here. He's got the scoreboard. So the first thing I'll do is show you how to download the EVO Mod. So I'm going to click on that link. We're just going to literally scroll down until you see this bit here. EVO Mod Current Version. Just click on that. You'll come here and you're going to want to download the mod. So you're just going to click on this one here or this one here. The realism one removes the ball marker and yellow card indicator. For me, with the live broadcast camera, that makes it very difficult to play. So I'd probably recommend this one here. But it, like I said, if you want the extra realism, go for that one there. So I download Evo Mod UPD4 and wait for that to finish downloading. And whilst that's downloading, you want to make a note of this password. Then what you want to do is go back and click on the high graphics unlocked. Okay. Now you've got high graphics, ultra graphics, and it's just going to be dependent on your PC that what you can use okay so I opted for the ultra graphics add-on you can sort of see the difference here so on the left hand side now the full screen right now is a high graphic add-on as you look at the top of the screen you can see which is which and ultra now coming across can sort of give you an idea of the difference ultra makes to this game so once you've decided it's a case of click clicking on one of the pixel drain links and downloading the file Okay, so they've got comparisons here that you can compare, use to compare and decide what you want to do. Now we're going to head over to eBoard 2024. So once you're on this page, just scroll down. There's a few parts to this. 
So what we've got here, we've got custom scoreboards and a replay wipe for eFootball 2024. Now we've got different types of scoreboards here. So first thing you want to do is look at these and decide which one you want. Okay, so it could be a World Cup 2022 theme, Champions League theme. It really does depend what you want. Okay, then you want to decide which replay wipe you want. So you've got the Premier League here, Serie A, Bundesliga, Liga 1. Once you've decided on those, then you can go ahead and download them depending on which one you want. The download links are right here. Okay, so you click on the links. We've got the scoreboards near the top. And if you scroll down a bit, I'm actually going to try this one here, the dark mode theme which is the one you've already seen and you've got the PlayStation 5 buttons or the Xbox buttons I'm using a PS4 controller so I'm going to use the PS5 buttons and then I'm just going to click this link here download version 1.1 and then if you scroll a little bit further down we have the replay wipes so depending on what you want I'm going to download the Premier League version 1 so I'm just going to click that and start downloading this as well once you have them saved you'll see them looking like this you'll need an unzip file so for the ultra graphics football mod, we're going to right mouse click, click extract files, go to your destination folder that will look something like this. And this is the path you want. So it's generally in your Steam library, common, eFootball, eFootball, binaries, Win64. Click OK. It will ask you to overwrite, click yes to all. Once that's finished, you then want to do the Evo mod bit next. So right mouse click on that, click extract files. This time you're going to go back to the same location, slightly different now. This time you're just going to go to the eFootball folder. Okay, stop there so you can see the CPK and PAK folders just before or just after the eFootball folder. Type in the password and click OK. Click yes to all. So I recommend sorting it by name so that you can just click these three files here, the PC 0101s and then the PC 3607s. And what we're going to do is cut these out. And we're going to put them in a new folder. So we're just going to call it a backup folder. So I just made a backup in my mod folder just so we've got those backed up. Now head back to your pack folder and you're going to want to rename some files now so again once i recommend sorting it by file name and that's the last one done now the final step is to go back to your sort of folder where you downloaded the mods. Okay, so what we're going to do first is unpack this one here. This is the dark mode scoreboard. So just open this one here, open that, open the pack folder. Now all you're going to need is the 7000 files. So PC 7000, click extract to. Find the location of your eFootball folder, go to the pack folder here, click on that and click OK. And just press yes to all. Close that one. Now we're going to do the EPL. Double click on this board, close that, click on the pack file, select these three files here, the PC 0101s, all those files. Click extract two. Again, locate exactly the same folder, eFootball, pack. PAK, click OK, yes to all, and then we're good to go. Okay, so if you've installed the mod correctly and you followed my tutorial to the letter, you should be having something like this, this scoreboard here. Perhaps maybe you opt opted for a different color. Maybe you've gone for a different replay wipe. It really does depend on how you want to customize your game. And obviously, if you've got the endo mod with all the kits and the new improved turfs, and then you've got the ultra graphics from Bogo, honestly, these guys 
are an absolute blessing and really do elevate this game so much more realistically and graphically and uh, yeah I just couldn't ever go back to play on it on PlayStation 5. Anyway that is pretty much it from me ladies and gents. There was a donation in a, to sort of support this video so I do appreciate that donation. Thank you so much dude and I will be making more tutorials if you want to see them. Just let me know down in the comments what you want to see next and I'll be uh, sure to get on it. Anyway thanks for watching guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.